If you're shopping for a junior teen or teen evening gown for a pageant and you're feeling lost, this episode is perfect for you. My name is Danny Walker. I'm a pageant coach, pageant judge, and former title holder. And I'm gonna share with you some tips for selecting your evening gown. I understand there's a lot of confusion, especially for new contestants, when it comes to selecting an appropriate evening gown for a junior teen or teen age division. So I'm gonna share with you some examples in this episode that I would suggest for my own clients. One of the first keys to choosing a winning evening gown is to make sure that your evening gown is appropriate for your age division. Typically a junior teen age division is between the ages of 13 and 15, and a teen division is between 16 and 18. This is not true for all organizations. For example, at Miss Teen USA, contestants are between the ages of 14 and 19. If you're competing in a system like Teen USA that combines the age divisions of a junior teen to a teen, you have a lot more flexibility when it comes to selecting your evening gown. On the flip side of that, if you're competing in a system with a very narrow age division that also narrows down the age appropriate options for your evening gown. There are a lot of factors to be considered when finding an age appropriate evening gown and that varies from contestant to contestant dependent on your own body type and physical characteristics. But in general, the goal that we're aiming towards with an age appropriate evening gown is this. If you were to walk into a room of strangers in your evening gown, would they be able to correctly guess your age division? One very easy way to test this when shopping for your evening gown is to simply ask a sales associate to guess your age. If they guess an age within the range of your age division, then chances are that gown is age appropriate. Before we dive into the examples of gowns, let me answer two very common questions. Number one, can I have a slit in my gown? Yes, you can if your pageant allows it. Typically, you will find wardrobe guidelines within a pageant's handbook or guidebook. If you're unsure about the rules when it comes to slits for evening gowns, simply ask your pageant director if you're allowed to wear a slit in your evening gown. For junior teens and for teens, I would not recommend wearing a style with a slit that extends much higher than the top of your knee. The second common question we have to talk about is can I wear a gown that has ties in the back? Technically, there are many pageant systems that will allow you to wear ties in the back of your dress. There is no explicit rule stating that you cannot, but does that mean that a gown with the ties in the back is the best choice for you? Usually not. An evening gown with a corset laced back is typically considered a prom dress style and not a pageant style. Now, if you already found your dream gown and it has a corset, fear not, there are two other options for you. You can have a panel of fabric created for your evening gown that will be placed behind the corset and that will then conceal those strings in the back of your gown. I would suggest using the exact fabric of your evening gown or a fabric that is very close closely matched to your evening gown so that it blends really well together and so that it is not distracting. Now the other option for you is to order an evening gown that's several sizes larger than your actual measurements so that you can take that to a tailor and what they can do is remove the ties and then replace it with a zipper. Now let me share with you some evening gown styles that will work for teen and or junior teens. This is Ashley Loren style 11427. This is a style that yes, a teen contestant could wear, but generally speaking, I would suggest this style for a junior teen contestant. Because of the mini ruffles, the very full skirt, and the color of the gown, it does come across as a style that is quite a bit younger. Now, you can take a style like this and use it more strategically if you are a teen contestant. If people often tell you that you look older for your age or that you look like a Miss contestant, choosing a gown style that will age you down like this one can be a great strategy. This is Ashley Loren style 11643. When I look at this style of gown, I immediately think of my teen contestants because it has a much more narrow column shape in addition to the ruffled over skirt. When you're a teen or a junior teen, you can wear black and white style evening gowns. They seem to have a timeless elegance to them. 
This particular style also comes in black and pink, and that pink color can really also help to age a contestant down. Now, this particular style does have a little bit of a low V for that neckline. So if you're a contestant that has a larger bust measurement, this might not be the gown style for you because it could tend to look more mature. It can age you into a teen or even potentially a miss age division if there is too much emphasis on the bust. Here is another black and white variation of an evening gown. Now this is a ball gown style and that does read a little bit younger, but the fact that it is black and white gives it that more mature, timeless elegance. So this would be a really great evening gown style for a junior teen in my opinion. Let's take a look at style 11571. So this is a really interesting evening gown choice for several reasons. It comes in two different colorways. The teal, I feel like, is much more appropriate for a potentially a junior teen or a teen. Now, I feel like because of the silhouette of this gown, it does lean more towards that teen age division, but it doesn't mean that we don't also see junior teens wearing styles like this and doing well in them. It's just a lot less common because that silhouette reads as a little bit older. Now, if you do happen to be a junior teen contestant and you wanted to wear a style like this, I would only suggest it if people tell you that you look too young for your age. So maybe you're moving right out of a preteen division and you're moving into that junior teen age division and you don't feel like you look age appropriate, this might be a gown for you. Now, the original is strapless. If you wanna make it even more age appropriate, I would probably add some straps to this. Now let's talk about this gown style for our teens. So I think that the teal color is really, really beautiful for a youthful look and that a teen could wear this. Now, if you're worried about this aging you up, once again, you could add some straps for a more youthful look. This gown is really interesting though because it also comes in a white a nude color and I feel like if you were to place that gown on a Miss contestant and you were to enhance her bust and you kept this gown strapless then it could even look age appropriate for a Miss contestant. Now this is a really rare quality in an evening gown but it is something really unique and styling really does go a long way and I feel like this is such a great evening gown example to show you that. Style 11630 can be great for a junior teen or teen contestant. This is beautiful. It comes in a pastel color. We have a high, modest neckline. We have a full skirt. And then we have a great open back here, which makes it a little bit more interesting. This is a very easy choice for a junior teen contestant. And it could also be a great choice for a teen who wants to age themselves down so that they don't look like a Miss contestant. If you're loving the episode so far, comment gown down below and don't forget to check out my free pageant prep course that is linked in the description. Style 11563 is quite popular right now. I would say especially because we're seeing the tears on the skirt. That seems to read as a little bit younger. When we think, for example, of preteen contestants, junior preteens or princesses or junior princesses, in those age divisions, we usually see a lot more details on their skirt. So maybe we see pickups or ruffles or rosettes. So it helps to read a little bit younger. But this gown is great because it does have an off the shoulder look. We have a bit of a sweetheart neckline here that can help to age this style up a little bit. So I think it's wonderful. It's a great choice for junior teens, but a teen contestant can wear this as well. I do want to take mention of the color though. This is a darker tone of blue and this is a color that I would recommend more for my blondes or my brunettes that are fair because it'll create a really nice contrast against them versus any of my contestants with dark hair and deeper skin tones. This gown is not going to stand out quite as much on you. This could also be a great option for a redhead as well. Style 11428 clearly reads to me as a great option for my teen contestants. So we have a more fitted silhouette here and then it spreads out to this dramatic mermaid. So this mermaid style used to be more popular for Miss contestants in the early 2000s. We don't see the silhouette working as well for our Miss contestants currently. This is a style that tends to do very well for our teen contestants. And I feel like that's because there's this nice marriage between a more mature silhouette and then because we have that fullness at the bottom, it does tend to read a little bit younger and 
because the fabric on the bottom is ruffled. This is a really, really great option for teens. More specifically, I would say for a national or an international level of competition. There is a lot going on in this dress in a good way. We see a lot of details here, a lot of intricacies, and I would bet it would look really, really great under some stage lights. But this dress does come at a higher price point that I don't feel is always necessary for a local or a state level competition for our teen contestants. Let's talk about some Jonathan Kane styles now. I really love style 2502. This style specifically, I think can work really great for our teen contestants, mainly because of the extra sleeves. Those are sleeves though that either are detachable or you could detach them. And you could even take a gown like this potentially into a mist division later. This is a really beautiful shade of yellow. And I primarily recommend this color to my contestants with dark hair and deeper skin tones. Let's take a look at style 2618. I love this style because this style originally came in a version for younger contestants. And I actually had some clients that won their pageants in the littles version of this gown. So I love that we now have a more mature version of it. I feel like this neckline is so beautiful and it does so well for teen contestants. And even though we have this high neckline, we still have that elongating silhouette. So this is a, especially a great style if you're trying to create height on stage because there are no seams in the middle of this gown that are gonna be cutting you in half. Style 2641 is right on my edge for my teen contestants. I still included it in this episode because I feel like there's a few things that make it a little more appropriate. So we've seen a very similar style to this one created by Portia and Scarlet. The Portia and Scarlet version has a lower dropped neckline and it doesn't have any additional sleeves. I feel like the addition of these puff sleeves and the higher neckline and the color of this gown in, in a very bubblegum pink shade is helping to age it down. So potentially this could be a great style for a teen contestant. Style 2692, specifically in the mint color, can be really great for our junior teens or teens. Now, if you notice, there is a lot of coverage on this gown. We have a full puff sleeve here, and we have more of a A-line or natural waist silhouette to this ball gown. It's really beautiful. Now, notice the neckline, though. It is a V neckline, and it may drop a little bit too low, depending on your bust size. So, you have an option for gowns like this. You can either take a matching fabric, you could probably use some of the train of this gown and just fill in that neckline a little bit more if you feel like it's too low. Or if you just want to show consideration for modesty, then you could use a sheer netted fabric to place behind the bust and that's gonna disguise that low bust a little bit. Another option that some contestants choose to take instead is to use that sheer color and add that panel into the bust, but they will also rhinestone that as well to disguise more of that low dropped V. So you have a few options here if you want to make this style even more modest. This usually isn't going to be an issue if you have a smaller bust because it simply just won't be something as noticeable for you. But this could be a really great gown style. And like I said, I especially think this color is really beautiful and it can work for junior teens or teens. Hopefully these tips were helpful to you in this episode. Thanks for joining me. I hope that this episode inspired you to subscribe to the channel so that you can get lots more tips to prepare for your next competition. Thanks for joining me and I hope that I'll see you very soon.